you see the numbers for Zach Allen in that start against the Braves that we've been talking about. It comes up against a Rockies team that is 9 and 17, their worst start since 2005. So here's McMahon with the eight home runs leading the club. Not going again, and this ball is hit a ton to right center field, and it is going to take one hop, short hop the wall. Trevor's getting a green light. He's coming home, and the throw, not going to get him. Great slide by Story. What nothing on the McMahon double. That's a good start against Zach Gallen. So an inauspicious start for Zach Gallen. See if the Rockies continue to take advantage. Three home runs, nine driven in this year for Hampson. Runners on the move. Got the corner with a fastball and strands two. Two strikeouts in the inning for Zach Gallen, but the Rockies strike first. Diamondbacks coming up. Austin Gomber ready to go to work against the left-handed hitting Paven Smith. 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him with a breaking ball. 1-2-3 first for Austin Gomber. He is laboring here in the second inning tonight. Now you got the big boys coming up. Story with two on and two out. And the first pitch on the way to Story. Breaking ball hit to short. Right to the right guy. Ahmed, he throws to second. They get Tapia coming into the bag. That'll end the inning. Well, we'll see what Zach wants to do with the bat. Warners come in for Colorado. McMahon from third. He can't stray too far from that bag, though. Gallon squares up and gets it down. They only have one play. Zach moves everyone along. Nicely done. Second and third. One out for the leadoff man. It's Paven Smith. 28 pitches, 20 strikes. That clanks off the glove of McMahon. No play at third, and we're tied at one. Trying to make a backhand play. Ahmed comes in, and it's a 1 1 ball game. This is starting to look a lot like last night. That'll be a fielding error on Ryan McMahon at third base, but great base running. You can see Dom Nunez coming out of the shoe. I don't know where he was going to try to pick off, I guess, at third base because McMahon was moving that way. And Josh Rojas realizes there's nobody at the base. I could go second to third. Outstanding base run. Chance for Carson Kelly. First and third, one out. Got a curveball, lifts it deep in the air for Blackman in right. Here comes Rojas. RBI for Carson. Diamondbacks grab a 2 1 lead. Two down and Nunez at second. Opportunity for Rymel Tapia, who is one for two. This pitch is reached for and sent to right field. Coming on Rojas. He won't get there. He'll play it off the bounce. Nunez around third. He will score. RBI single for Rymel Tapia. And the Rockies tie the game at two. And here's Trevor Story. And this ball's well struck right center field. And it is going to take oh. a hop and go over the wall, a bad break. Tapia would have scored. As you can see, he was halfway home. Stu Cole saying, no, nope, it's a ground rule double, so he's got to go back to third. That's kind of how the first month right? has gone for Trevor Story. Squares that one up, and instead of getting a ribby out of it, putting his club on top, turns into a ground rule double. Two in scoring position for Rymack with two gone in a 2-2 game. Single undoubtedly will bring in two. And this one to left. It drops. Story around third following Tapia home. And the Rockies have a 4-2 advantage. Ryan McMahon coming through. Gotta love these two out runs. Well, now the fifth inning for Hampson was 0 for 2. Hampson can run as Drumble got him on a play as Dribble Cabrera just moved over from first to third made that look easy. Boy that was a great bunt by Hampson. I thought for sure he was going to leg that out for a hit but a tremendous defensive play by as Dribble Cabrera takes a hit away. Two down now for Carson Kelly. And that one out to right center and it gets down. Here comes Rojas. He will score. It's a 4-3 ball game. 
Second RBI tonight for Carson. Well, you said it earlier, Bob, that tag up first to second makes all the difference. Yeah, they call them the little things, but if you do the little things right all the time, you're going to win a lot of ball games. And Josh Rojas getting himself into scoring position pays off as Carson Kelly drives him in with that clean single into right. So Carson has now reached base safely in 16 consecutive games. I'll bring up Story. The pitch. Trevor drives it to left. Is it going to stay fair? Gone. Touch him all time. Trevor's story just inside the foul pole as it drops in the D-backs bullpen. A two-run shot. 6-3 Rockies. Young has two home runs this season. Sends this one out the other way. It backs up Blackman, still backing up, and it's gone. Andrew Young, the smasher, is back. Opposite field off Gomber. And it's a 6-4 to four ball game. Wow, that one got out of here in a hurry. He's try to get uh, that run back, 6-4 to four the score. Here's Garrett Hampson. This ball lined to left center field. Charlie's going to cut the bag, go to third. It's going to go to the track. Charlie turns the bag at third, coming home, throw, not in time. Double for Hampson. There's your run back, 7-4 to four, Colorado. And he's got some work to do with Carson Kelly. Carson had an RBI single his last time up. Carson Kelly lines it to left. Poppy is there. Varsha will tag. And it's 7-5, to five, second RBI tonight. Actually the third now for Carson Kelly. Dom Nunez, double and a run scored in four tries. This ball hammered high in deep right field. Take a good look, you won't see it for long. Grand slam, Dom Nunez. Rockies up 14 to five. Josh Rojas, who has single twice, scored twice, leads it off. Josh Rojas gets into one. How about this? Josh Rojas! Oh, uh, make it three consecutive games with a home run for Josh. Here's one on the first double play. Ball game over. 